So this was an Indian mathematician that he never really studied mathematics. An English professor at that time when still the English were ruling India. He noticed this boy who's just a clerk in the government office. He's producing mathematics on the side. He's just sitting down and pouring out mathematics, books and books. He saw that the profoundness of what he's doing and then he took him to Oxford. There he went and blew up. He was treated extremely badly because of uh, discrimination and he was not allowed to eat with people. He was thrown into some dungeon where he got tuberculosis because he was not given proper accommodations. But he was sick with your tuberculosis, but he sat on his bed, which was his deathbed after some time. He poured out mathematics like crazy. Even today, in 21st century, they're still figuring what he wrote. And some of the things that he did in 2010, they figured out he has made mathematical calculations for black holes. You spoke a little bit about mantras before, but I just wanted to know more about mantras and how yoga uh, <coughs> enhances your perception of life and ability to pay attention and get into the sounds. As I said, uh, mantra means uh, you learn to arrange the sound in a certain sense of geometrical perfection. When I say geometrical perfection, Everything that's physical in the universe has to have some kind of geometrical coherence, otherwise it will not last. Your own body, how geometrically aligned you are, how you sit, stand and breathe, will determine how it will function, how long it will function. Every day you sit like this, okay? Just try like this, sit like this, only. then you will see. Many things will go wrong with your system. I was telling people, if you allow me, to redesign all the American furniture. I will save you a trillion dollars in healthcare bill because wherever you go and sit, you go and sit like this. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be healthy like that. The geometry of the body is completely misaligned. So sound and form are not two different things. They are two manifestations of the same thing. There is a mantra and there is a yantra. The word yantra literally translates as a machine. So by using sounds, complex arrangement of sounds, we build a yantra, that means we build a machine, which is an energy machine, which is not a physical machine. There are no material parts to it, but it will function. It will function and do… See right now, what is the idea of coming up with any kind of machine? Why did we come up with a bicycle? Because we could walk and it was not enough. We tried to run. It was not enough. So we wanted to come up with a machine which will take us faster. If you were made like a tree, rooted to one place, would you think of a bicycle, I'm asking. So everything, every machine that we have created is only enhancement of the activity that we can already do, nothing new. We can speak, so we have a microphone, we have a telephone. We can see, so we have a microscope, we have a telescope. Everything is just to enhance what we already have. We cannot imagine a machine which will do something that we ourselves cannot do. Maybe we can do this much, the machine will do that much. So essentially a machine is a consequence of the faculties that we already possess and how to make these faculties in super enhanced way. So from a simple machine like a bicycle to whatever we are talking matter worse, just enhancement. If you didn't have eyes, what would you do with matter worse? So the whole thing is enhancement. So we create energy machines. The purpose and the idea behind the energy machine is, it is in human experience almost perpetual. Perpetual is a wrong word, but its lifespan is well beyond our lifespan, so we think it's perpetual. If something lasts beyond your lifespan, let's say it lasts beyond 10, 15, 20 generations, then you think it's forever. It's not forever. 500 years, 1000 years is not forever. But in our experience, it's like it's forever because we have not seen the beginning of it, we have not seen the end of it. So it feels like it's been always. So in that sense, the yantra, an energy yantra or an energy machine that you create with perfection of sounds is lasting way beyond our lifespan, doing things that we cannot even imagine to do. So these yantras were created in various forms and many things were done. There was a movie, I watched this movie in Los Angeles. In one of the very lousy theaters, I don't know what the theater was. I just saw the poster and I went. So this was an Indian mathematician that he never really studied mathematics. An English professor at that time when still the English were ruling India. He noticed this boy who's just a clerk in the government office. He's producing mathematics on the side. He's just sitting down and pouring out mathematics, books and books. 
he saw that the profoundness of what he's doing and then he took him to Oxford. There he went and blew up. He was treated extremely badly because of uh, discrimination and he was not allowed to eat with people. He was thrown into some dungeon where he got tuberculosis because he was not given proper accommodations. But he was sick with pure tuberculosis, but he sat on his bed, which was his deathbed after some time. He poured out mathematics like crazy. Even today, in 21st century, they're still figuring what he wrote. And some of the things that he did in 2010, they figured out. He has made mathematical calculations for black holes. There was no concept of black hole at that time. This is in early 20th century. There was no concept of black hole, but he made a mathematical backbone for black holes. Normally in scientific process, first there is a theory, there's a concept, there is a theory, and then only when you find the mathematics for it, it is considered science. But he first did the mathematics. When people asked him, where is this coming from? He was always worshipping a certain goddess, that is his deity. These deities are yantras. Today, unfortunately, people think these are all gods and goddesses. These are all always in southern India. The temple worship is always referred to as a yantra because these are machines created in a certain way to access different dimensions of life. He said, in his words I'm saying, he said, my goddess bleeds mathematics. And simply he wrote books and books and books. More than 50% was lost. But what is there is still it's mind-boggling for the top mathematical mathematicians in the world. And this is just that he found access to that dimension of life simply by, you know, accessing a, uh, using a certain yantra or an energy form which gave him that possibility. What is a mantra means? It's a tool to build a yantra. You have a sound, you can make a form out of it. If you know how, you can create complex varieties of sound and assemble it into a powerful machine which works for you, which can work for everybody, various types of yantras are there like. So mantra, yantra and tantra are three different aspects of the same science. Mantra means the sound, yantra means the form and tantra means the technology of putting it together. I know in the United States if you're there tantra, people think some weird sex is happening.